child is picking three days of the seven days of the week to have jello for lunch. So what is the size of the sample space? So you, you know you could sit there and try to list out all the options. Um, you got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, just do that, and Saturday. So one uh, one possible event is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, or you could have Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, or Sunday, Monday, Thursday. That's going to take a while, right? <clears throat> So what we actually need is we need to use our combination formula that we learned previously, right? Because this is a combination problem because we have a bigger group that we're trying to choose a smaller group from. So N is 7 and R is 3 because N is the bigger group you're trying to pick from and R is the size of the smaller group. And then we plug it in the formula. If you have N and you're trying to choose R, it's N factorial for r factorial and minus r factorial. Okay, and you might be thinking, well, this is similar to the permutation formula. How do I know which one to do? You'd use the permutation formula if the order mattered. Like if Sunday, Monday, Tuesday was different from Tuesday, Sunday, Monday. They're not in this case, right? If you, you could say them in whatever order you want, uh, but just because you say Tuesday, Monday, Sunday, that doesn't change the fact that you're having jello on those three days. So the order doesn't matter. That's why I chose this formula. And if we plug everything in, remember the trick we've learned is that factorial, we can expand it. 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial over 3 factorial. And then 7 minus 3 gives us 4 factorial. That's why I stopped at 4 factorial in the top, because those can just cancel out with each other. So if you do out the top, that's 7 times 6 times 5, that's 210. And if you do out the bottom, that's 3 times 2 times 1. And then if we divide those, 35. A person's randomly choosing a letter from the word mathematician, mathematics. Sorry. So there's an M, there's a T, there's an H, there's an E. These are all options. Now an M comes up again. We remove the duplicates when we're talking about a sample space because we're only picking one letter, right? Out of all of those letters that are in there, we don't want to use this option because that doesn't exclude the duplicates. This option doesn't include A, doesn't include E, so this is missing some of the possible letters we could pick, so that's not our sample space. M-A-T-H, this is missing the E at the very least, so this is our last reasonable choice. Person flips a fair coin twice, and the result of the ex experiment is what side of the uh, of the coin lands face up. Flips a coin twice, and the result of the experiment is what side of the coin lands face up. Uh, so for flipping it twice, you could get tails, tails. You could get tails, heads. Um, you could get heads, tails. I wonder if the order matters in their experiment. Uh, does it say? doesn't say. Maybe we'll whittle it down here. Or you get uh, heads, heads. There's these four unique options, okay? Each of these are a result of the experiment, so the, we need to have all four of these for our sample space. Heads, tails, tails, heads, heads, tails. Now look, this one duplicates itself. A sample space is all the possible events, but we don't duplicate them. Like if you draw uh, a lottery card, and you, know, you pick a number from 1 to 10, many other people are going to pick the same number as you. But a sample space would just be all those numbers 1 to 10, all the possible options, okay, without repetition. So tails, tails, heads, heads, tails, heads. That's the one that we have that we just wrote down. It looks like they didn't, and maybe they could make it more specific. It looks like the order doesn't matter here. Tails, heads, tails, heads. Look, there's a repetition there, so we know that's out. This one's out because it's not talking about uh, the, the actual event. This is saying one coin flip, then another coin flip. The events that we have are two coin flips, so we have to have this, this paired response here.